Hey, this is Doc Henry again. Uh, we're back on the proprioceptive kinetic stuff, our broken treatment. Uh, you've probably seen the ACL hamstring. If you haven't, check that out. That's what we've been using for pretty successfully about six years right now. What I want to cover right now is the shoulder stuff. Why do we want to do the shoulder stuff? Because our wide receivers need to separate themselves from the D-backs. In order to do that, you need to have strong, quick shoulder muscles, all right? Again, to cover the same material we're talking about before, when you, as a pro player, take a hit, land on a shoulder, or, you know, over lift, or over, you know, what you're going to do is you're going to stretch ligaments. Stretch ligaments result in joint instability. When a load goes on an unstable joint, body senses that, weakens the muscles, and then you're in trouble. You can't feel the weakened muscles, but I'm telling you, when you're out on the field and you're trying to make that catch or you're trying to pull yourself away from the DB, if those muscles are weak or slow, you'll notice it then. What you could do last week, you can't do this week. However, if you come through our program and you get this done to you, when you go on to the next place, those muscles are strong. Those muscles are ready to be worked on. This is how we do this. Basically, we're talking about already having treated the neck, the mid-back, and the low-back, because, of course, the proprioceptive inhibition is system-wide. So having eliminated any instability in the, in the spine, what we do is we sit down and go to work on the shoulder. We're gonna, this is Scott Mitchell, wide receiver, famous sprinter and all-around good guy. I'm going to push down on here. He's going to hold this strong. Scott, resist. Okay. Should be able to lock it out. So obviously we have something to do. What we do right now, because we know that abduction is weak, we're going to start with the primary abductors, which are trap and supraspinatus. All right. We come up. We take the tendon insertions. We take the tendon, I'm sorry, tendon insertions, tendon origins. We elongate the tendons. All right. We elongate the tendons. Okay, then we come in, we dig in, and we find the muscle spindles in the belly of the muscle. We elongate the muscle spindles. All right, the next thing we do, supraspinatus, roll off of the spine. Supraspinatus, the insertion, is the anterior portion of the humeral head. Again, elongate the origin insertion tendons, come up here to the belly of the muscle, elongate the muscle spindles, infraspinatus. Same program, posterior part of the humeral head, medial border of the scapula, elongate the origin insertion tendons, come into the belly of the muscle. You're doing much better with this muscle, by the way, Scott. Thank you. There you go. You come up and you make that strong. Subclavius, just pull in, pull out, pull in, pull out. Just get that and hit the anterior and posterior deltoid. Now what you're doing here is you're recreating Codman's motion. Okay, because this then sets all of the joint sensors. All right, we brought this up. We bring the arm back up again. I want you to hold, lock it, make it strong. Ready and resist. And just like that. We're going to check the infraspinatus. I want you to push out with your wrist as strong as you can. Ready, push. And he can. He can overpower me easy. For ball handlers, the thing we want to do last Make a fist, cock your wrist backward, make it strong, I'm going to pull down. I should not be able to pull the fist down. Make a fist, cock your wrist backward, make it strong. I can get a little bit of movement, it should lock up. Again, the extensors, origin insertion, muscle spindle. Make sure that the lunate, hamate, where they're supposed to be, high the form. Make a fist, cock your wrist backward, make it strong. All right, where you go now is... He is off to do the elastoban, which is light resistance, high rep exercises designed to enhance and embed proprioceptive strength in the shoulder, knees, ankles, hips that we've already worked on. From there is the strength coach. And that way, we are delivering to the strength coach muscles that are strong and ready to work. No injuries, no problems, no lifting injuries. Everything's great.